Here's what you should be looking for and listening for every time you test drive a car. I thought about some of y'all that like to blast music when you test drive cars. That's the worst thing you could do because you can't listen for these five things. First, you want to say to the salesman before the drive, hey, when we test drive, I like to do it in silence, not too much talking. If you don't say that, as soon as you start the car, you get one of those salesmen. Hey, so you got kids? And he wants to talk to you the whole test drive. You don't want that. So let him know. Then you want to get it on the highway. You want to go above 60 miles per hour because some problems with the car will not show until you get it to highway speed. Second, you want to take it on turns, lots of turns. Turn all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Listen for thumps, bangs, anything that doesn't sound normal, that needs an explanation. You want to go over bumps. Do not let them take you on only smooth roads because if you hear things loose, feels like it's banging under the car, that's not normal. Needs an explanation. You want to stop the car, pop the hood. Listen to the engine. Is it ticking too loud? Some four cylinders have a little tick, but it shouldn't be a loud, obnoxious tick. Something's wrong with the engine, needs an explanation. Then you want to look under the car. Look for signs of water damage. There's a lot of flood cars people are selling. It will show. You'll see rush. You'll see signs of water damage under that car. Lift up the floor mat. Look under there. You see any water damage? That's a flood car. That's a red flag. Keep these things in mind. If you need help shopping, click the link in my description.